Welcome back Guardians in this video I wanted to talk about Black Shield, the map and Trials of Osiris from last week. Um, I haven't got around to playing Trials this week because my headset microphone is broken which means I can't communicate with my team which means I probably won't be able to get any trial stuff up this week but I did have this gameplay from last week. In the end we went like 9 to 2 but we weren't really trying to get to the lighthouse, we were just trying to get the Tomorrow's Ants uh, rocket launcher. And, you know, this was my first day back after about two weeks of not playing Destiny. Um, especially in the last week before this, because obviously with the stuff that's going on here, I couldn't play. So, for me, getting back into this, and especially into something as intense as Trials, was incredibly funny. But, you know, I just straight up carried my team in this game. I, f I believe this was the second game on the card, we'd already won one. Um, but this was a very, very fast win. It was like four minutes straight, five rounds, bang, 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 everyone dead. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about Warlocks in general in Trials of Osiris. So I go with the self resing Warlock, and I believe that is a huge, huge mistake now. I think people are too wise to it. I believe the one that gives you extra protection is probably the way to go forward, to so just run into an area and just wreck people. But the self-resin now, the animation of you resurrecting is so damn long that before you even get a chance to move, you are usually dead or you've been at least hit twice with a fawn and are either going to burn out or be left with a millimeter of health. So I believe the self-res is completely useless now in something like Trials. Um, it worked out for me here, but I knew that the team weren't good enough to counter me. So I just died at the end and then self res and punched the dude just for a laugh. But I'm getting really frustrated now with self-res being pretty much useless or pointless. You, you either have to wait for people to be miles and miles away, which just doesn't utilize anything unless you're close to someone else to res. But usually people are going to stand on bodies no matter what. So when you res, you're pretty much dead either. The only thing that can combat this is the purifier robes. But I have e quite easily been absolutely destroyed even with the purifier robes on and, and two people standing right on top of me because all you have to do is either punch or just fire a shotgun and if you punch it usually locks on anyway or throw a grenade or something and you know it's still pretty much useless which is a shame but I believe from here on forward I personally am going to be using the one that gives you extra protection when you radiance and I can't remember what it's called now and then to run in but I have also been using my void fang vestments um i made a class setup video about this last last month i think and the void fang vestments allows you to have your grenades ready every time you revive so every time you start a new round you will have your grenade ready to go now if you pair this with the extra grenade and and the firebolt grenades that means you can get two firebolt grenades to do damage to three people if they are grouped up nicely and this also goes for when you are resurrected during the match so I believe this is incredibly overpowered. Now, self-res, I think I'm going to get rid of and just have the extra protection on Radiance. And then, like, you know, when I when I get it, just run in maybe on a heavy ammo round and just throw grenades galore and just try and wipe out people on the actual heavy ammo. So, you know, I just wanted to talk about that. And the map specifically, Black Shield, is one of my favorite maps for Trials so far. Apart from maybe Burning Shrine, which we all know is this week. But Black Shield, in my opinion, is very, very even. It takes a sort of amount, sort of same amount of time to get to the middle as it does to the outside as well. I think it's very balanced. I The only issue I have... Well, I don't really have an issue with it. The only thing I can say is that, you know, sometimes people can play way too slow for a Trials game. Unless you get people rush into the middle like you see in this gameplay. Everyone else is very defensive, very standoffish, which could make for a boring game and a long game. So, you know... As long as people rush on this map, my favourite map. Let me know what you guys think about this gameplay, about the Warlock, about everything we spoke about, about this map in the comment section below. Hit that like button even harder, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.